Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be doing a one brand tutorial. We're gonna be using all e.l.f. cosmetics. I'm gonna do some of their new products and I'm gonna use some of my staples and holy grails to create this look. And of course, I have the new Jen Atkin collection, which I have yet to try. I've only tried the eyeliner and then the little brow gel. And before I get into this, this video is not sponsored. I figured I have a bunch of new makeup. Why not put it all in one video? So we have two palettes and I believe they're just two different shade options. I think one is medium deep and one is light. They're called Let's Elfing Do This. So cute. We have blush, bronzer, highlight, and a few eyeshadows as well. And the eyeshadows do look like they vary in each palette in tone. So I will probably go back and forth between them. I have like a little lip liner and a little chubby lipstick and then eyeliners as well. And then we also have a mist which I have used as well. I've already done my brows and I just went in with the e.l.f. brow gel right before I pressed record. <laughs> I'm not sure why I just didn't save it for the video, but I love this brow gel, two bucks at the drugstore, love it. And I'm gonna go in with the mint primer. If you guys have been watching me, you know this is one of my favorite primers. This is called the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. I absolutely love this product. It feels so good on the skin. It grips the makeup so well and it just lasts like all day. Like adheres the makeup right away, but that foundation's not moving. Like it grips great. So I'm just gonna put this all over the skin. I love doing one brand tutorials. So let me know what other brand you guys would like to see. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I do have two shade options. My self tan is very much faded right now. So I'm just gonna go in with the shade Light 240W in hopes this will be a perfect match for me. This is such a good CC cream. It feels like a full coverage foundation, which is crazy. And it's so inexpensive. So we love that. There's also SPF in here as well. I think the shade actually will be just fine. And then I will bronze it up, but let me zoom you in a little. It's so natural. Also don't mind these like little blemishes. I of course decided to pick up my skin last night while doing my skincare, which I probably should not have, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, so don't mind all those little bumps, but I love this. I think it is super great coverage, super natural looking, still has a really pretty glow and it's perfect for spring and summer. Like this is definitely gonna be it for me for spring and summer. If you're a fan of their camo concealer, you will absolutely love this. So definitely give it a shot if you haven't. I'm really gonna add a dot of the medium shade mixed in with it ever so lightly. Like the coverage of this is so nice. You can use it with a sponge or a brush. I like to use both. So this is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer Pen and I really like it. Now I didn't get the shade that's supposed to be like brightening. It honestly matches like my skin to the T. So it's not really gonna brighten, but I'm still gonna use it. I really like it for under here. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit like this. I have yet to go back and get like a brightening shade because I do wanna try that out but I have been liking this, so would highly recommend. And then I'll also go in with my Holy Grail Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I'm just gonna dot right over here and bring it up. Love this concealer. I've been so hooked on it. It's so good. So I'm gonna leave this on my skin for just a sec. I know I look a little crazy. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette. This has been my ride or die for years. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's a little bit more ashy-like. I love it. And apply right here. It goes on so good, melts into your skin. I think I've raved about this like a million times over here on my channel, but it's just so good. You just have to try it. Like it is literally amazing. And I always, always go back to using it. Like I will use a high-end cream contour or cream bronzer and Milk actually is one of my favorite, favorite ones. But there's something about this formula that literally like feels like butter on my skin but also gives you that bronze from within look as well. You can barely tell like it's makeup, I feel. I don't know, I love it. So I'm just gonna lightly tap into the skin right in this area in an upwards motion as well. I'm trying to avoid doing that. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend in the concealer and then we'll get back to blending this. And this sponge is an e.l.f. sponge as well, of course. One of my favorite ones. I like this one and the other light pink one. Those ones are so good keeping this in the area that I 
placed it and just lightly tapping on top of it. The concealer right here on the side works wonders to lift the face, so obsessed with that. Getting the eyelids as well because I will be doing some eyeshadow. And I'm going to take the other end that has nothing and like tap on top of it to really press it into the skin. I take that flat edge right here and blend and push on top of that contour in an upwards motion. I'm gonna be taking a cream blush. This is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. So good. When I tell you it is one of the best cream blushes that I've ever tried, it's comparable to NARS in my opinion. Like totally a dupe for that. So I am obsessed with it. This one's more of like a brighter mauve, if that makes sense. It's not too deep, but it's also not too bright. I'm just going to apply it right here in an upwards motion into the contour and highlight area, like towards the temple. That will also lift the face, love that. And this product can be applied with a sponge, with a brush, you can even use your fingertips. And I just do it like so, I love it. Now I'm gonna be setting the face using the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. So this is more of a pink toned kind of setting powder, but I really do like it. It does help brighten the under eyes and I don't use a ton of it when I'm using it because it is more of like a little bit of a glow, but nothing crazy, you know, just like healthy looking. Um, I try not to use too, too much, but I'm just gonna tap a little bit here with this brush. But I try not to use this product with the sponge just because I feel like it can definitely look a little bit too much. So using a brush, I feel like is the perfect amount without overdoing it. And I just do like patting, light tapping motions and this will ensure to set it, but it's also kind of wiping away the excess as you do it. So if you're not a baker like me, you will appreciate that little technique. And then I'm just gonna tap lightly with the excess on the forehead area. I'm just gonna quickly contour the nose because I forgot to do that. We're gonna jump into the new palettes from Jen Akin. Super excited to try them. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face quickly using the Mist Me Spray. How stinking cute is this packaging? I absolutely adore it. I think they did a really good job with packaging. It just looks super sleek. Oh my gosh. I know I've used this in a video, but I cannot get over that fine mist. So beautiful and smells so good. I already have a feeling I'm gonna be going into that medium palette for the eyes because I really do like those eyeshadows. I think a tad bit better. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here to do the eyes. Ooh, really pigmented. Quick little swatch for you guys. That's pigmented. Pretty. This is a really natural shade. It's like a light taupe. I'm just gonna run that like so. Now I'm gonna take the one right next to it, which is more of like a orangey shade. And I'm gonna put that right here. I honestly love this eyeshadow shade. I can't get over it. Oh, it's literally one of my go-tos. I just think it's so pretty. There is something about that like tone for me. I don't know what. I'm just gonna keep on patting on top of it. This always looks a little choppy, so stay with me. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of this bronzer and pop that right here to kind of connect the two in windshield wiper motions. I'm gonna take a separate brush to blend that. Now I'm gonna take this deeper brown shade right here and apply that down here. Pretty. And now I will go back in with a little bit more of a heavier hand with that shade because I really like it and I'll pop it into the outer area. Now I'm gonna touch into the deeper palette, which is this one. Take a little bit of this color to the outer on top of it just lightly. These are beautiful, beautiful matte shades and they blend really nicely. Literally, they have the perfect mattes in there. Just cleaning it up just a tad. Now I'm just gonna take a separate brush and take this first shade and apply that onto the front half of the lid. There are no shimmers in here as well. You can you definitely use the highlighter if you wanted to. 
but theirs is all like a matte kind of vibe. I'm gonna tap to blend in there. Going back to the original palette now, taking that shade again, I'm going to tap right on top of this. I'm gonna now tap into the blush shade in the lighter palette. Okay. Pigment. Wow. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this bronzer. I'm trying to decide which bronzer I should use. I actually think the lighter palette. Right on top. I'm gonna use this highlight right here. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna spritz my face again using that Mist Me. Wow, pretty. Okay, this highlighter is loaded with pigment. I always was a fan of their highlighter. The way they formulate them is so nice. I can't get over it. Always a fan. And also take that and put it into the inner area of my eye. Kind of like by the nose, like on the side of the bridge, I guess. I'm gonna take a little bit of that halo powder on the sponge and just cut right under here and then I'll brush it away. I think this makes a world of a difference. You definitely can see like the chisel. So smooth. So now we do have two eyeliner, black one and a brown one. I have used the brown one and I love it. It's so creamy, it glides on so well. It doesn't dry really quick, which is nice, but you can still smudge it and then it sets right after that, which is beautiful. So I'm gonna be taking the brown one again and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a little bit of a line right here at the end and just smoke it out. And I literally like almost make it so invisible that I barely did anything, but I low key like like that look just so it kind of like just reshapes this area, if that makes any sense. Just so it adds a little bit of darkness. So I'm gonna quickly go in and pop on some lashes. I'm gonna be using the Kiss 01 lashes. I actually ran out of all of my e.l.f. eyelashes, so that's why I don't have an e.l.f. eyelash to share. I'm gonna quickly put these on and I'll be right back. I'm just adding a little bit back to the lid just because once I do the lashes, I always feel like I have to go back and like stamp just a little bit extra and now i'm gonna go ahead and mesh the false lashes with mine as well as a little bit on the lower using the elf mascara this is the lash out loud mascara one of their newer ones and i have tried it before i really do like it love the wand and it just gets every single lash i'm just gonna do a little bit to there i don't want to add too too much and then the bottom a little bit as well it grips the bottom lashes amazing the brown eyeliner from the Jen Atkin collection as well and just kind of lightly blend up in here to kind of like tight line just a tad. I'm going to be using one of the e.l.f. X Jen Atkin lip colors. We have the lip liners on this end and then little lipsticks on this end as well. So I am feeling not a red today. I'm not feeling red. Um, I'm feeling more of this like brownie nude color and this is called Bring It On Brown. I start out with the lip liner side first would be right here. Love the design of this packaging that it's a lip liner and a lip color all in one. It's pretty chunky. It's not like flimsy or anything. Love that. Mmm. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Really like the consistency of that lip liner, really nice. Now I'm gonna go in with this end right here, which is more of the lipstick. Little angled edge, which I like that, really easy to apply. Kind of reminds me of a lip balm. I actually appreciate that it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more brown in tone than the lip liner. Lip liner is a little bit more like mauvey brown, if that makes sense. And then the actual lip color, as you can see, is a little bit lighter, which is really nice to give more of that ombre to the lip. Honestly, everything from that collab is so pretty, obsessed with everything. I think it's really good pigment and really good formula, blends really well, obsessed. I'm now gonna go in with just a tad of gloss to put over top of this. Really pretty matte, actually. I really like it, like so. But I'm gonna do a little bit of a gloss. This is the e.l.f. Mint Melt 
lip plumping gloss. Mine looks a little bit discolored just because I go in after a nude lip color. So that's why it looks like this, but it is just a clear lip gloss. So I'm just gonna pop it over top. So once I've done that, that completes this look using all e.l.f. cosmetics. Absolutely love all these products. I tried using my staple products, Holy Grails. Honestly, items I use on the everyday that's incorporated in my routine. Totally wanted to do another one brand tutorial for you guys. And I'm obsessed with some of these new products, the Jen Akin collection. Definitely am obsessed with these palettes. So, so good. Absolutely, absolutely love it. And I had so much fun creating this look. Haven't done eyeshadow in a minute. It's very simple, but I still feel like it's glam and I absolutely love it. I just think everything glides on so well. You cannot beat their price point and your girl's been obsessed with e.l.f. for forever. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.